Have you ever wondered why someone who clearly has excess stored energy as fat can still feel tired and hungry all the time? I mean, even a lean person can have hundreds of thousands of calories worth of stored fat. So imagine someone with more. Where is all that energy going and why can't your body access it? I'm a human biology teacher on a quest to teach you what's going on inside your flesh suit, so let's jump in. These represent your body's three favorite energy sources, glucose, glycogen, and fat. Glucose is your fastest fuel. It's sugar that floats around in your blood. Glycogen is like chains of sugar that's stored in your muscles and in your liver. And fat is the slowest, hardest fuel to access. Your body's really gonna resist using this one. Your body always uses the energy in this order. Glucose first, then glycogen, then fat. Your body will never burn this if this is still in your blood. After a meal, pretty much- This lady goes on to say that basically you need to get rid of all carbohydrates inside your body, so the glucose and the glycogen in your muscles, before you can actually burn any fat, which Bang, 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 warning lights is not true. Because get this, your body can only burn fat when it's also burning carbohydrate. It burns both at the same time, just in varying amounts. And yes, if you're really unhealthy, your body's gonna burn more carbohydrate than it is fat, which is why you'll feel like shit when you're not eating any food, but it will always burn both, never entirely one.